Yes, you, you, my dear friend, uh, allow Jesus to come into your life. Uh, amen. And transform it. Amen. Amen. I just want to share a testimony of the goodness of God and His blessings on my life. And on many occasions, I've had different obstacles. One in particular, where God has been one of His blessings upon my life when I faced a time in life where I was really out, struggling, trying to make you know, the best of my life on my own, having left school and hoping for the best, having good dreams. But along the line, I found myself following company who I thought were ones that would give me that level of hope and understanding. And so at times, and many a times, I find myself in company with them. And along the way, I got caught up in many different forms of influences, namely in the drug world and there I lose my whole focus on what I wanted to do because I have had no one who would have any form of enthusiasm along the lines of which I was looking at and in so doing before I knew it I found myself going deeper and deeper into drugs trying on my own to get out of it, trying on my own to make changes, trying on my own to make headway that would bring success, that would bring some manner of peace and to no avail. Many a times I, I found myself doing things that was not, you know, that, that I didn't have any form of along the lines of the vision and before I knew it 18 years have passed and was so much into drugs that I didn't have any manner of strength to go on and within that time I had given up on everything I, I didn't see myself being able to accomplish anything accepting that I realized well the only way from here is you know, to give up on everything and accept accept that six feet was my only hope because when I look at my condition and I looked at my surroundings there was no way I could have find myself accomplishing these things but one day while going through and struggling someone gave me a track and in that track they told me that you have tried many things and only thing that would be able to help you and the only one that would be able to help you is whose name was mentioned in the track and his name is Jesus. And I did give him a try. I submitted my life to him and without having been able to give up all what I did before I asked him, I went to him with all my struggles, my hurts, my pains, my failures. And he had made a change. He accepted me as I am or as I were. And he changed my whole circumstance. He changed my entire life. He gave me that hope that which today I can tell you he is the only answer to all life struggles. He has given me that strength. He has given me that courage. And he has shown me the purpose of life. And I have made him my Lord and Savior. And having done that is where I found the essence of life. I found new meaning. And I asked him to help me. And though I was going to church, at any church, I still had the habits lingering. But you know what? I desired to overcome it and within that time he gave me strength to overcome it and that is what I'm here to tell you whatever it is that may keeping you down causing you hurts and pains and struggles you don't have to give it up to try Jesus come as you are and he will change your life 
But his word tells us in Matthew 28 and 11, Come unto me, all ye that labor and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And so, my friends, I am a living testimony that God has given me rest from my struggles, from my addiction, from my hopelessness, from a time where I had no form of being able to go on. God, Jesus Christ, through his grace, his love, and his mercy has forgiven me and has strengthened me and has allowed me to see that life without him has no future. So I encourage you today, whatever it is that you are facing, let it be known that I am a living testimony that Jesus Christ has given me that hope and he will give you that hope. All you have to do is come to him with all your hurts, all your burdens, all your pains, all your sorrows, all your emptiness, and he is able to change your life for he has done it for me. And so I encourage you today, if you do not know him as your Lord and Savior, allow him to come into your heart and make him your Lord and Savior. And if you do not know him as your Lord and Savior, it's a very simple thing that I have done. When I read on this track, there was what they call a sinner's prayer. And I said it of the sincerity of my heart. And I asked him, I said, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I acknowledge that I cannot go on life at my own and help me, forgive me of my sins and help me to overcome. And my friends, from that day on, I continue to live for him, to attend his house, his services, and he has changed my life. So today, I am telling you this, not what somebody has told me, I'm telling you from what I have experienced. Jesus Christ has changed my life and certainly he will do it for you it doesn't matter what extent that you feel you are in life and it doesn't matter if there is hope and you have given up on that he's able to restore you it is 32 years 31 years to be exact he has changed my life and i am telling you that is where how you have found a new hope and a new freshness in life Accept Him as your Lord and Savior. God bless you.